but then we got a chance to witness one of the scariest single moments in drag racing in the 1996 season. In that same suicide qualifying round, Eric Hindeberger out of Cincinnati, Ohio in the near lane, 30-year drag racing veteran Lou Novotny in the far lane. Watch and listen to this incredible video from inside drag racing's own Ken Heineman. Watching the slow motion replay, you can see that Hindenburger was shaking the tire so violently that it's questionable that he may have even been conscious at the time of the incredible impact against Novotny's machine. The tire shake, let's face it, was strong enough to knock him out. As Hindenburger's machine remained on the racing surface, though, you can see Novotny's car breaking in half as it flies over the guardrail. Check out the experimental Chrysler wedge head engine in Novotny's machine that came completely out of the frame rails and was stopped only by a Dodge camper. And while Hindenburger was able to get out of his car under his own power, and emerged without a scratch. Novotny's injuries were indeed minimal. Even though it took him a while to get him out of the car with the paramedics' assistance, Novotny was conscious and able to get to the ambulance under his own power. Of course, the paramedics insisted that he remain on the board. SFI specs, NHRA and IHRA safety equipment mandated by the UDRA saved everybody from any injury whatsoever in this particular incident. But without a doubt, it was one of the scariest moments we've seen this year. In the meantime, the UDRA Summer Nationals, like I said, the second of 10 national events of the 1996 UDRA Tour, has been rescheduled here at Cordova. Hopefully, we here at Inside Drag Racing can return for the rescheduled date. For Inside Drag Racing, I'm Brett Kepner.